Piet? Piet? Yes, Sinterklaas. Did you hear them? Hear who, Sinterklaas? The sirens. The police sirens, Sinterklaas? Yes, they're closing in. On us, Sinterklaas. On the sniper. I'm worried. Come on, Sinterklaas. Enjoy the ride and keep waving to the children. Hello. Easy for you to say, Pete, down there. I'm sitting up here, dressed all in red, as an easy target for some stupid Lee Harvey Oswald. Sinterklaas, why would anyone want to shoot you? Because I'm the boss. But everybody loves Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas, you bring him the presents? For more than 30 euros per piece this year. You spent for over a billion on the people of Holland. Yes, but not on everyone. If you have no friends or family, then you get nothing. Come on, Sinterklaas. There are no lone wolves with a gun in Holland. And by the way, if he shoots, he will probably aim at the cross on your mitre. Now keep waving to the children. Hello. Now you're even joking about it. While well, I'm worried. Well, you wanted to sit on the horse, Sinterklaas. You wanted it from the start, holding the reins. No, that's not fair. You could have been me. Oh, no, never. Why not? Because I'm black. Well, I was black anyway. Ever since 1850, pitch black. An underage more from Africa. But those days are over, Pete. Oh no, Sinterklaas, they are not, because I'm still black, Pete, walking down here, and you are white, sitting up there. Keep waving to the children. Hello. But I never really wanted it. They made me do it. And you were okay with it, now weren't you, Sinterklaas? What do you mean? Well, your life has been a lot easier than mine, isn't it? Over the years, shaking hands with the higher authorities, while I get dirty by delivering the presents through the chimneys. Come on now, Pete. Don't be old-fashioned. We both know that DHL takes more and more care of the packages. You heard me, Santa Claus. You heard me. But you can't expect me to go down the chimney, Pete, in these velvet clothes, with his beard and mitre. And where do I leave my staff? Well, as you said, Sinterklaas, you're the boss. You could have said no to the tradition every once in a while. When? Oh, for sure, since the new millennium. Trade places with me every other year. Keep waving to the children. Hello. Uh, don't be ridiculous, Pete. You cannot break a tradition just like that. No. Not just like that, but you never even worked on it for one minute. Now how can I do that, Pete? The children expect me to be up here, sitting on the horse, holding the rein, being serious and strict, writing the Sinterklaas cards, and you, down there, walking by the horse, doing the silly stuff, and wrapping and delivering the presents. Those four-year-old Sinterklaas? They only expect what their parents tell them to expect. Don't you have a good life, Pete? Right now, people become dissatisfied so quickly nowadays. Yes, I keep waving. My point is, Sinterklaas, that you never offered me even once to take your place for a year. Or even for one day. You never took any initiative in changing things. Well, I'm too old for that now. Look how far we have to walk, and my feet are killing me already, with these shoes. Well, I wouldn't mind wearing your shoes for a day, and you can wear mine. And, by the way, you were an old bishop from the start. I'm the one with an age issue here. What are you talking about? Well, I'm supposed to be a 12-year-old, illiterate stable boy, remember? A minor. And now look at me. I'm an adult professional horse trainer, Sinterklaas. 32, 
waving at little kids and probably most of the time I even have boobs. He waving in the glass. Hello. Oh, the sirens again. Even closer now. Sinterklaas, you know those police sirens have to do with me. With the Battle of Black Pete, with my black skin. I know it's about the slavery, the human rights, but I thought this was settled last year. Look around, I see green peach, yellow and blue peach, even white peach. No, Sinterklaas, it's not settled yet. In fact, the Battle of Black Pete is getting worse. Both sides get more and more aggressive. And you know why, Sinterklaas? Because of this leadership issue we have today in the Netherlands. You don't even trust Prime Minister Mark Rutte? Or the King? Sinterklaas, why should we? With all the exposed lies and deceptions? Yes, keep waving now. Hello. But the Prime Minister must have said something to calm down the fighters. Well... Mark Rutte says that the people of Holland must work this out together. Amsterdam already abolished Black Pete, so the rest of the Netherlands must be able to do that too. But the rest of Holland is not like Amsterdam. And what about the king? Or Maxima? No, not a word, nothing. But everybody loves Maxima. I'm sure everybody listens to her. Well... Why don't you say something about it, Sinterklaas? To calm down the fighters and to guide us into a new modern Sinterklaas tradition. Me? Are you serious, Pete? Why me? Well, you said it yourself, Sinterklaas. Because you're the boss. And I say, everybody loves you. So, you want Sinterklaas to start a new Sinterklaas tradition, Pete? I do, but there's a but. Of course, talking with you, there's always a but. You have to come down from the horse, Sinterklaas. Because? Because trust comes on foot, but leaves on horseback. So that means I have to walk too, just like you. Yes, Sinterklaas, just like the rest of all of us. Now keep waving to the children. Hello.